When the spring is in easy height, a gutter is dug, and the water goes down by itself to irrigate the fields on the terrace. But when the spring is at the bottom, farmers have to climb pantrates by force of arms with full jubs, broken backs, burning shoulders, and barely a few patches of water. So how do you get the water up to the top by itself? Can you find a first idea? Install a long, wooden canal that follows the slope, attach a jump to a rope, and pull it to the top. Less round trip, but you ride the water one jump at a time. So you push the concept further, and if you hung several jumps in a row like pearls on a necklace. With each pull-up, you bring up several loads of water at once. Resolve big time saver, but full jumps are much too heavy. Your arms are exhausted, so you add a pulley to use the leverage. Better, but you always have to pull the rope by hand. That's where you get the idea of genius. You install two wooden wheels and transform the rope into continuous concrete, but the buckets get stuck, so you replace them with light bamboo. And then the big wooden canal can disappear. And there, it's magical the bamboos lift, fill, climb slowly, and empty right at the top. The water then flows naturally from terrace to terrace to the bottom. No engine, no electricity, just it. This is the ancestral Chinese know-how, using the force of nature instead of fighting it.